Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you a new filter style that we've added to AutoCraft's blog. Before we look into the new filter style, let's start by reviewing the current list filter experience for consumer users. Now, here's an example of product category column, that's the list filter. And you can see that there is a bunch of options that is available for the consumer user in this case to toggle between list and top, bottom, end. And uh, the consumer user can also set limit by settings, include nulls or exclude certain selections from the column values. Now, in most often cases, the author wants to expose a very simple experience for the filter, which is to show the list of values for a specific column exposes filter. To do this, Oracle Analytics Cloud has introduced a new filter style. So let's go into the edit mode of this workbook. To change the list filter style, let's go to the properties of this filter control and expand on the filter type property and change from list to list box, at which point the filter experience now provides a very simplified view for the user to just see the values for the specific filter control column. In addition to the values, we also have exposed no selection, which uh, ideally means that all values in this column is now applied to the visualizations on the canvas. And uh, if the author wants to include a null data or see data, null data in the visualizations, they can do so by clicking on null. The new list box filter style is now supported only for single select filter experiences and will add support for multi selects in subsequent releases. Now let's look at the consumer experience and uh, for the consumer user, it's a much simplified filter experience with none of the options that were exposed in the list filter style. Another feature that we have added to the filters area is to present a new experience for filters that are in an invalid state. Now in this example, this filter control on the top filter bar, uh, you know, shows a, an icon uh, on the top of the filter chip that basically tells me that this filter is an invalid state. Now the reasons for the filter being in an invalid state could be many. In this particular example, someone has deleted this particular column from the data set um, for this particular workbook. And that's why the filter control becomes invalid because that column is no longer available. Now this is extremely helpful because as a consumer user, I can now go have the conversation with the author. I know that the author exposed the filter control, which is now invalid. So I'll, I can have the conversation with the author to uh, you know, fix this issue with the filter control on this particular workbook. Thank you for watching this video.